Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our user model and the user models migration file right here. So the, we're going to set up these two right here. Right. Now, the thing is what we're going to do regarding access control to our application, we could have used one of two things. We could have done use a lot of our package for roles and permissions. Okay. We could have, uh, created one ourselves we could have created a role model okay where we define the different roles and we can add the permissions where the permissions basically determining all right what role what are they permitted to do okay we could have done it that way but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a different approach the same one i use for the forum series where we define a user type either if the user is admin default user or a moderator and then we're going to use policies to restrict the user from completing or doing certain actions all right so that's what we're going to do all right so if i just going another thing that i also want to mention which we're probably going to do in the next one if you guys remember what i said we might add the social links in the bio into the users table I decided to go against that um, the, for learning purposes because you can obviously add those fields inside your database. There's nothing wrong with it. It work, works will work completely fine. But what I will do is I'll create a new model for the profiles where we can link to the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn files of the particular author, whoever the user might be. Okay, so we, that's what we're going to do. All right, so let's quickly set up our user model with its migration. And then the next one, we're going to just create a profile model with the, the database schema and obviously the model setup. All right, so let's quickly set up our model. So we're just going to create a constant, and this one will be default. And that's going to equal to a type of one. All right, so let me just copy this down four times. And I'm just going to change this one will be a moderator. Okay, and that will be a type of two. This one will be a type of writer. And they will be a type of three. And the last one will be type of admin. And four. Okay, so we're obviously going to create these methods in a second. So just bear with me. The next thing that we're going to create is that we're going to create a constant table. And it's going to equal to a users table. Okay. And then we're just going to create a protected table. That's going to equal to self table. Okay. This is quite handy if you want to reference the table. You will see, like, we have, in this case, what we can do is we can just do a user, basically, table, in whatever the case. Okay. But we're going to access that in this quite easy. You will see me referencing this when we create our policies but just bear with me all right so let's quickly create this uh this three for the moderator writer and admin so let's quickly create a public function called uh, type and this will be an integer okay and then basically we're going to return this integer And this type. Okay. Now this dot type basically we haven't created yet. So let's go to our protected fillable and we're just gonna add the type right here. So we're gonna add this field in our database in a second, but just let's just finish this up. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a public function and we're gonna ask if the user is a moderator. And this is going to return a Boolean. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to return. Basically, this will check if the user is a moderator, and we're just going to check the type against that user that's basically locked in. Okay, so basically, this type we're ref referencing this method now. Okay, and that's going to equal to the self moderator. 
Okay. So basically what this does is it, if the user, let's say we get the user, the user, and we want to check basically the user's type like this. Okay. Now this will either return if the user has a type in the column of one, it will check if the user is equal to one. Basically, this is what this is checking like that. Okay. So, so this basically just refers to the class user right there. Okay. So it just refers to this instance. Okay. So another thing is a public function and we're going to check if this user is a writer. And it's going to return a Boolean. We might do another series or whatever the case may be where can we use roles and permissions and we can do it a little bit different so just to learn something new okay this works quite nice for me the next thing is we can just say self and write it okay, let me just copy this down otherwise i'm wasting too much time and this one is going to be admin self So we've got all our methods in here, quite nice. So we've got our table right there, we've got our fillable. The next thing that we want to do is we want to actually just set up our schema right here. So the next thing, only field that we need to add in here is basically the type. And this is going to be a small integer, difference in the type. So if a person registered by default, they will be assigned a type of Okay, so that will be basically, they will be assigned a value of a default user. Okay, so that will be up to the admin to make them a moderator or a writer, whatever the case may be. Okay, so that's all done. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reference these two fields inside here. So let me just quickly do that because you, we're referencing the type. So we're just going to do a public function of the ID. Okay. And this will be also an integer. And then we're just going to return this uh, basically ID. Right, so the next one that we have on the list right there is the name. So this name right here. Okay, so let's just do that. So public function. And this one will be a name. And this will be a string. Just going to return. Just basically returning the property. Now, this is quite handy if you're just referencing the method. Now, you can obviously do a lot of things in here. So, if you want the names to be uppercase, whatever the case may be, you can format them or do whatever you want in here. Right. So, the next one is basically the email address. This is also going to be a string. And then we're just going to return this email. Okay, not the like this. So I'm reference when I'm calling on this method, it will just get me the property right there. All right, so that's it for this one. So now we're all set up in here. So what we're going to do in the next one, uh, because I think we might not have too much time. Otherwise, the video will be too long if we're going to create the profile model as well in this one. Okay, so what we're going to do in the next one is we're going to create our profile model and just set up the relationship between our user model and our profile because a user have one profile and a profile belongs to a user we're going to set that up in the next one all right so basically we've got all this all done and thank you guys for watching if you like the video please give it a like and another question that i want to ask you if you mind if i publish a lot of videos per day or would you rather prefer me to only publish one or two a day? Okay, so just let me know in the comment section. If you want me to publish more, which I'm more than willing to do, um, as I don't want to spam you guys with videos, but if you want more, please leave it in the comment section and I will see if I can do maybe four or even five videos for you a day so that we can get this through the series. And those that want to speed along, they can do that and not be held, held back by me and just let me know in the comment section and guys if you like the video please give it a like and yes as time goes on um we might look at a whole lot of other series that are planned 
for, for us. So thank you guys and see you in the next one. Adios.